So when I was younger everyone always told me that I was really strong, that I coped with my CF really well and it became sort of a badge of honour that you know I, I could do it and I was fine but when I was younger my main coping mechanism was denial so I just didn't I didn't think about any of my CF I just did what I had to do what my parents told me to do and they did all the thinking and all the worrying for me but when I went to uni I got really ill in my second year so I had pneumonia a couple of times and I ended up having to take the year out I had to go home um, and I had to miss the year and that sort of broke my brain because I couldn't be in denial of everything that was happening. My whole life had been changed because of my CF and that wasn't something that I could ignore. So after that I got very paranoid so I would be ringing my hospital every couple of weeks saying you know something's wrong, it's not, you know, it, I don't feel right. You've got so much to keep track of with CF that you know, that could be going wrong. So every time you feel something new, you're thinking, is that, is that bad? Is it new? When did I start feeling like this? I should have been keeping track of this. Is it, you know, is it the next thing that's going to put me in hospital? It got to the point where I'd, I'd called my hospital and I'd said that I was ill, I needed to come in, something was wrong. And we did all my tests and everything. And my consult said that there was nothing wrong with me. And I just broke down in tears because something was wrong, I knew something had to be wrong because I felt different um, and that was the point when he said that he thought it was a good idea to refer me to the psychologist so I've been under the care of the psychologist for about a year now and we've been working on it I, I'm doing a lot better, I don't get quite so paranoid but Every time I start feeling ill, I, I panic, I think I'm going back into hospital. I don't think a lot of people understand cystic fibrosis because a lot of people will base what they think of CF on another person they knew with CF, but everyone with CF is different. You, you get people who don't have any problems with their lungs but really struggle with their digestion. You get people who weren't diagnosed until they were an adult. You get people who wouldn't have survived without intervention at a young age, um, it's, there's no one size fit all, fits all for CF and it's really important that people understand that because you can't judge one person on another. There's a lot of effort that goes into keeping me well and keeping me being able to do things and that I have to make sacrifices for everything that I do. If I want to see a friend I have to make the choice that I won't do my treatment or that I have to accept that I'll be too tired to make my own tea. Everything comes at a cost and those costs can add up. Um, it's not easy but yeah it's... I wish they understood that when I had to cancel at the last minute because I just couldn't do it anymore it it wasn't that I didn't want to see them, it was that I couldn't, I had nothing left to give.